Did you catch any of that? Let's go back and see what we just missed there. Make a teen content inappropriate for children. That's right, children, you heard it right here. Do not play this game. It might be inappropriate for you. So right away, it seems that the player character has some sort of special powers, and one of these being like a force push. This dude just gets yeeted into the sky, and I'm not sure if this kills them or if it just immobilizes them, but by the looks of it, it's a push and an electric explosion goes off, tossing them up in the air, killing them. That's my guess. Vehicle combat has made a return. Obviously, it wouldn't be rage without vehicle combat. And just by the look of this driving here for that split second, you can already tell the map is huge. You can already tell it's going to be huge. And I'm excited for that. Next up, we got a first view of a weapon. By the looks of it, it is a shotgun. And he just blasted that red barrel, which causes that enemy to go flying into the air. Killing him, most likely. We have a close-up shot of that giant ogre-looking behemoth thing. By the looks of it, this game is going to have mutants that were created through the meteor, I think it was, that hit Earth. So mutants were formed, and I'm excited to see what other enemies will be facing in this game. He has some sort of AR in his hand, and he seems to have a power where he can boost jump. Looks like he can boost jump. I'm not sure if he's boost jumping towards the towards the monster there or if he's getting picked up. I can't tell. Boom, we get a shot of the meteor or whatever, the big rock hitting Earth, causing a huge explosion. And you can just tell again, the world's huge. This map is going to be gigantic. And then it shows a different part of the map with a bunch of satellite dishes and it looks like it's radiated. So this is most likely going to be home to like the, the feral mutants type, type enemies. We got people in the strat here. We got another shot of a different region. Looks like more of a city region, like this one here looks more normal than the other ones. And just like I said in my last video where I was analyzing the teaser trailer, I was assuming there was going to be different factions and different uh, groups, and that's totally right. They confirm it in this trailer here, we got uh, the goon type people. But the people in the comment section down below told me that these are the authority. And then we got uh, obviously the forest people, the, the tree region, so there's different regions, different factions. This guy here kind of looks like those things from uh, Shadow of Mordor, you know what I mean, from Lord of the Rings. Look at the graphics and this. It looks so ambient. The way that the way the moonlight's shining through the leaves look great. Oh man, this is going to be such a great game to explore. More action of the vehicles. This guy running over looks like a dead body. Right into the action. We got a back shot of that giant mutant. This one here is actually way bigger than the one earlier on. I can just tell by its sheer size. It's bigger than the buildings around it. So that's probably going to be a boss fight. I can't wait to fight that. We got these weird looking robots slash mutant looking things. Kind of looks like they're wearing an exosuit from like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. <laughs> so I, there's already a bunch of new enemies in this game and I can't wait to kill them all. And then one in the background is just hovering, shooting missiles. Here's a better look at those uh, mutant looking things. Those amputee enemies, I guess. Great shot of the forest region here with the, with the, with the dude with the glowing eyes in the back there. This guy here is playing a game of uh, spin the shotgun on my forehead and see if I don't trip and pull the trigger by accident. We got, a, we got an image of the rocket launcher, that's definitely confirming the game. And it looks like it has a sight on it, so that's good. Another shot of a different mutant looking enemy. I'm guessing each region has their own big mutant enemy, and this is looks like the tree region's enemy. We got some players just dancing around in the, in the woods. This guy here is the authority, from what the comment section told me. And he has an electric katana, and he's about to slice the head off one of those civilians. Rest in peace, that civilian. Next up, we got a colored shotgun or AR. Which leads me to believe that we can customize our weapons and put paint jobs on them, which is which is really cool. There seems to be some sort of TV game show here put on for the player that you probably have to go through like a trial, like an arena type fight. You probably have to go through this in a quest. We got a quick shot of some of the mutant looking enemies running with shields and they're pretty decked out in armor. So these guys are going to tell probably going to be pain in the ass to kill because they're probably going to block all your, all your shots and you have to shoot them from behind or wait for them to drop the shield. Another shot of the authority using their weapons. We got some of the goons shooting back with their with their own ARs. Now the tree people are joining into the mix and they seem to have some they seem to have some sort of projectile weapon. Sort of like a Molotov cocktail, but uh looks like it's it's, it's just a circle. Maybe, maybe it's like a flaming piece of shit. I don't know. There's a giant mech suit, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to use it. Most likely we're gonna be able to use it, but by the looks of it, one of the goon squad members have it and they're using it. More vehicle action. You can just see how vast the world is right here, how big it is. A close up of the action. This game is going to be, I can, I can already tell this game is going to have a lot of vehicle action. A lot of vehicle action. Like you probably, when you're, when you're trying to get to a different region or point A to point B, in between you're going to be facing a lot of vehicles. I can just already tell. And some of these vehicles, as you can see, they're either equipped with flamethrowers or they're using NOS. By the looks of it, the bottom is NOS and the top is a flamethrower. <laughs> I don't know. Now we got some gun action here. We can see how the enemies interact while getting shot. These are the tree people. 
They seem to die fairly quickly too when they get shot. We got another special power here. Uh, it looks like a force field again, but he's like throwing a... He's like splashing blood everywhere or he's either blowing up an enemy right now. Their body parts are going everywhere. Little bits are going everywhere. Got some action in the tree region and our best friend, Bladed Frisbee, is back. It's not really what it's called. That's an iconic rage weapon and that's back. So you can cut people's heads off with that. And there goes his head as you can see in the trailer right here. We got some of the goon squad enemies getting lit up by an AR in like an alleyway by the looks of it in the city region. Not only is he getting lit up, but you can actually like bounce them up in the sky as long as you're still shooting them, which is pretty funny. We got a giant ramp vehicle going off it. And you can just, again, you can just tell how far and how big the game goes. It's ridiculous. I can't wait to see how, how big this game is. One of my main gripes with Rage was that there was missable shit. You couldn't backtrack. And what do they say in the trailer right here? Wide open world. So, so this means it's open world. No missable shit. You can backtrack anywhere you want, I hope. And I'm guessing Bethesda knew that was an issue in the first game. Bethesda, id Software, and Avalanche Studios, they're all like, yeah, let's make this shit really open world. Let them go anywhere they want. So now it's really going to feel like Mad Max and Borderlands. More vehicle combat. And each vehicle is looking different and different. So you can definitely customize your vehicle to your personal liking, which is really good. This player has it all pink and shit with like a tank turret on top. Then we got one of the enemies driving a monster truck as their vehicle. So I can't wait to see the customization options when it comes to these vehicles. We got one of the goon squad members beating the shit out of someone with their bare fists. More gunplay, authority shooting back with a really cool looking energy submachine gun. We got people shooting at the giant mutant looking enemy and he seems to be missing one of his arms. Yeah, he's missing his left arm, uh, but that's not stopping him because he has a freaking laser beam on his forehead. Another uh, shot of the missile launcher, getting shot looks like it. Right here, it confirms that you do have a boost jump. So you can jump in the air like you're playing Black Ops 2. Okay, you can exit jump in this bitch. Shoot that rocket launcher or grenade launcher. Boost jump up in the air again. You can also double jump while you're in the air, as you can see here. Boom, a little hop there. Shoot that rocket launcher again and you can just so you can just play around with how you want to explore this area. By the way, it looks like the area looks like this is probably an outpost. My guess is this is probably going to be an outpost you have to capture sort of like the Far Cry games. Our boomerang bladed friend is back, getting uh, getting some action. Boom, there goes his face. And it looks like you can customize different moves for your boomerang. This one here just kind of like keeps spinning in place as it hits a target, which is brutal. I love it. Some side view collection right here. Uh, showing the different regions. We got the desert region, the, the desert region with some trees. And we got now we got some forest region here forest region and just just all the rift and regions like you can just tell the game is huge and i and i'm so glad they went that route we got some spinning cameras here here we go looks like we're facing some feral enemies and we have a power where we can highlight important shit around us as well as enemies so we got a container in the background some enemies in front of us and jump up in the air boom just power fist on the ground you can't really see because it happens so fast but he power fisted that enemy and the enemy just blew up in a bunch of blood and guts we got our mech suit shooting uh shooting a mini gun getting blasted as well this right here confirms that the mech suit is indeed an enemy maybe we can take over it not sure more action in the desert just it just looks like a war going on with the authority and everything it looks like all the factions are fighting uh, against each other and you're and you don't really have a faction so you your enemies of all of them here, here it looks like we have a boss fight of one of the big mutants and he seems to be taking a lot of damage so he's gonna be pain in the ass more real collection as usual now we got some forest gameplay the forest i can already tell is gonna be fucking scary to play in when, when it gets dark because you you can barely see what these enemies are we got one of the enemies getting electrocuted right there in the back factory type area again probably an outpost through a grenade and he did some sort of power with his fist you see him clench it and like the screen starts shaking i'm not sure what that is but you definitely have powers. You, you have a special suit on or something. And then boom. Boost jump over the mech suit. About to punch him in the face. Not sure if you punch him in the face and take him over. Or punch him in the face and completely destroy the mech suit. And bam. Rage 2 right there. No release date yet. But we do get to see how the box art looks like. And the box art looks great compared to the original Rage 1. The Rage 1 box art wasn't the greatest I must say. It looked bland. It looked like shit. But this one here is colorful. Vibrant. I love it. So Rage 2, no release date, but we got some gameplay right away. That's awesome. I'm excited for this game. I'm so glad they made it open world. Let me know what you guys think about the official gameplay trailer. Link in the description to watch the actual thing. Also, if you pre-order Rage 2 right now, you'll get the exclusive mission called Cult of a Death God, the Settler's Pistol, Nicholas Rain's armor from, from the original Rage, and as well as the Monster Truck vehicle. So this right here confirms that you can change your armor. You can also change the vehicle you use. So that's great news right there. Thanks for watching guys. Peace. I'm going up, up, up.